Gara-gara gua mah terus Okay. My name is Isidro Guzman. I born in Ciudad Guzman, Jalisco, near Guadalajara. My mom told me that you know I'm surprised you're still alive. You know, one time she said, I said, "Why? Why are you talking about I'm surprised you're still alive?" I said, well, you know, I gotta tell you this. You know, when uh, when you're a baby, just a baby, you know, I, I, you don't want to eat nothing and you're pretty skinny and all that, you know, and uh, he's sick, and I take it to the doctors a lot of times, and, uh, it's, well, in those times, they're they spending money, they don't have money because we kinda, we poor in those times, so they don't have money for good doctors, so so they take me to the doctors, and they say, um, you know, uh, this, this kid uh, is gonna die. If you got money, don't spend any more money. You know, just give up. My mom said, oh, okay. So she started praying about the God. Okay, here's my son. He's sick. You can take it and all that. He put me in a, in a room, in the dark room. Then she, for two days, you know, not, she don't give me any food. Then she went take a look. And I was just, I was better. So then I was like, oh, oh, man, he's not dead. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still alive, you know, after so many years so that was you know was, i said oh thanks man so put me in the dark room <laughs> i i came here just to look for a job and uh, there was one guy down below uh punching down some you know uh, tanks i guess they're getting ready for for harvest and and i just came and he said this is funny because i was just ready to go to downtown to get somebody to help me so can you help me for the rest of the day i said yeah so are you sure i said yeah so, okay, so I helped this guy moving these tanks. And then he said, you know what, maybe, maybe tomorrow too. You can, can you help me a couple hours? I said, yeah. And they said, man, you know what, let me ask him if he, he can hire you for other two, three more days. So finally I said, oh, okay. So I guess I'm still here, you know. <laughs> I guess the day is now over, you know, after three, three years. My favorite part of working time on Chris is when the coffee time comes. I drink coffee, you know, and we spend a little time talking to you know, all the girls and all the boys around here and uh, decide what to do, and that's the, one of the best parts. Then after that, you know, the best part is working, you know, and the, and, and the day goes so fast, you know, because you don't do every day the same thing. You do a lot of stuff, you know, you can go pruning, and then in a couple hours you can go do something else, or you can, uh, you know, work in the wine in a couple hours, or you can do whatever. So you're not, like in some companies, you gotta do the, you have to do the same thing every day, every day that's boring for me. So doing here a lot of stuff is nice, you know, but the best, the best, the best part is Fridays. The best day is Fridays, because I get my iPad, and I turn the, the lawn mow and I cut the grass all day long, listen to some music. I try to enjoy the life you know, as much as I can. You know, every weekend with my kids, my wife, you know, barbecue and drinking some wine. So then if it, somebody says, hey, how about if you die? I say, you know what? Uh, some people, they're scared, but uh, I'm ready. 